Scartman Productions. Today, we are going to be filling up a tire with air. Today on Cartman Productions Special Feature, Cartman pumps up a tire for 10 seconds. Now we're actually going to be working on the $25 motorcycle, but let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we have Mr. Ben Questbowl. We are going to be starting off with freeing up the throttle linkage on the carburetor. So we got little Benny here. Benny, do you have anything to say for yourself? Uh, I'm being used uh, as labor, so that's great. At least I got a job. This is indentured servitude for the time you broke my GoPro. Alright, let me know if you need any help with that. I'm going to go grab the uh, impact driver. So funny. This little thing right here, that's both the accelerator things joined into one omniscient being. Move that up, hopefully you saw that. And it should be moving down way faster than that. It shouldn't need the help of the handy dandy screwdriver. What I gotta do, keep on doing that until it gets nice and loose. Grab your frozen ice bags and let's go on, on a journey. Cowboy, when you're done painting that, you'd like to see how the progress is going on. I think I felt a rain thing. Just got that freed up after a lot of screwdriver hammering. So now we're going to move on to freeing up the clutch. So now that we have the clutch freed up, it shifts, the carb linkage is fixed, we're going to try spraying some start fluid down it and starting it by pushing it. Ben breaks another thing, including his body. This bike's been huffing starter fluid since it was 12. This is what high school does to you. Now as you can see, the headlight does turn on uh, when we're cranking it, which does indicate that we are producing power from the charging coil, so that's a good sign. We weren't able to actually get it to start, so I decided to just go and sell it because I could make some profit off of it. Here's the first buyer. This off a guy. He moved down from California. He had it sitting in a, a shop for 10 or 15 years. So um, the starter is out on it? Yeah, the starter is. Okay. I was hoping it was going to be a kickstart model. Just because of the salt water damage, that is just near impossible to, to reverse. I appreciate your time. I'm yeah, sure no you will sell you will <laughs> sell it. You have it priced right, especially if it has a title. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Hello everybody. Take care. Yeah, you too. Have a good one. Thanks. He was a little off put by the salt water damage. So he passed up on it. We got a second buyer from Iron Horse Salvage. Go check him out over in Spokane, Washington. Great guy. We were talking for a while, telling stories. If you want to skip ahead past this part, that's fine. It's just audio. You, you guys will make good use of it, whatever you Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, I was going to say that loaded funny. a lot <laughs> easier than we loaded. We <laughs> ended up with like three four wheelers lately one of them a hundred dollars the thing i worked on it for five minutes fired oh, wow. up took it home <laughs> <laughs> i haven't seen it there, since there 2004 yeah <laughs> polaris dang oh, wow. and we're sitting there like what do we do we gotta make some parts to sell <laughs> but they're all so nice well Those i was eyeballing that one <laughs> the arctic cat snowmobile for 200 and they both ran the arctic cat snowmobile it's a 79 it looks like it just came off the showroom floor <laughs> hey, i had one of them in 79 and after the first season mine looked 10 times worse than that <laughs> we take apart pretty much anything in the recreational we got about four outboard motors sitting there and a, and a few lawnmower motors and, and yeah, we just keep looking at him saying are you gonna have us take those apart anything that pretty much is in the recreation and will take apart we mm -hmm. can get in on a stand and yeah and we started doing snowmobiles a couple of years ago and that's turned out to be pretty good <laughs> they weren't designed to take parts off of especially after five ten years of snow 
All that moisture, they just rust themselves right together. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Especially if they leave them set too long. I often wonder, what am I doing in a national forest with something that goes 110 miles an hour? Seattle runs those trolleys, the big buses with the uh -huh. electric motors. Only certain drivers can drive them after extensive training because if they lay on into the power on that bus at the wrong time, it'll twist the bus right in half. <laughs> oh, because of the torque on it, it will just destroy the entire bus. It's instant you go from zero to a hundred almost they will go instant mm -hmm. <laughs> i mean that's why they power locomotives that's with them. Yeah. yeah well see we, we do buggies and we're running live axles so that's a solid axle so you just don't turn we are always looking so okay. all right a lot, a lot but of the only thing there. is if anyone ever wants to do any art We'll be happy to donate frames. So that's, most, way, that's, <laughs> so that's what you guys do, basically, dismantle them and yeah, sell the parts. That's and, basically you know, like eBay and whatever. Yeah, and, and, that's the basic. And yeah. then that we also sense. work on that's... them for. We also service them oh, for yeah. some people. We have some, some service work okay. we do fixing them. Yeah. And then we fix up some of them yeah. for us, and we fix up some of them oh, that yeah. we look at, and it's like, yeah, this will, we could do really well off this one, yeah. just selling it, yeah. and, yeah. and it's something no we just fix it and. We have the parts usually on hand, yeah. <laughs> so we just go find the parts and oh, makes sense. and get one. That's and you know, we're not looking to pay top dollar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, well, what we want is you know yeah. fair price for yeah. everybody comes out fair for mm -hmm. yeah. for what they got and person you bought it from. <laughs> yeah. It's happy. It's that's, not that, sitting that's around our rusting. Is everybody's happy at the end of it? That, yeah. You know, no. Iron Horse Salvage. Nice. It goes on eBay. It's uh, Independent Cycle. Nice. And it's Iron Horse Salvage is Okay. They're both tied together as the yeah. same business, but Chuck's mm -hmm. brother started the business. He probably had some projects that were sitting around too long and decided, they, hey, it's <laughs> time to move it he's, out. He's had the business for 12 years, and we still have boxes of parts we cannot identify what they are for. <laughs> <laughs> because you can't sell them if you can't identify right. them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You can have all the parts in the Box world, but parts. if you don't know what it came off of <laughs> yeah. or what it will fit, it right. really has no value yeah. whatsoever. Yeah. And they didn't categorize or take note of a lot of that stuff. And, you know, you just try to every now and then you go in there with a, with a pile of other stuff that looks like it. And you start trying to match them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you try to, you know, it's like, ooh, that goes for this. Yeah. <laughs> now we can sell it. Keeps me occupied for a few hours. We're actually located on Sprague, right across from Dishman Dodge. Nice. Right okay. You're in the area, swing by. All right, <laughs> yeah, we will. <laughs> All oh right. Good. All right. Well, thanks. Well, any parts, let us know. Yeah, we will. will. That's you'll have to write it down. Probably, you know, we got a pretty good selection. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you might end up having something he needs. So. Yep. Probably. Well, hey, thank you. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Have a good day. So in the end, we sold it for three hundred fifty dollars. Made probably about two hundred fifty. 300 of that was just pure profit so i'm happy with it overall but we still got the elsinore i don't think we're i don't know what we're going to be doing it with it just yet next video stay tuned we got some franken scooter stuff coming we got a killer reaper full send on the way uh we got an off-road showdown coming too stay tuned for all that till next one this is cartman productions i'll see you next time on cartman productions <laughs>